Now, 1966, I believe. All right, look, guys. Um, I'm going to start out with, with what the debunkers are claiming. Okay, they claim that uh, we're looking at a reflection, right? It was an 8-millimeter uh, camera. Young couple took a flight. Very rare back then, nearly 50 years ago. And uh, they're filming the clouds, all right? They get home, and they notice this UFO. And, and, and oddly enough, it, it's almost identical to to our current technology, number one, number two. Okay, uh, a news crew went back up on the plane and claimed they were, you know, somewhat able to recreate the anomaly, but it didn't look anything like it to me. So anyway, enough enough talking. Let me show you the video. Here we go. Field sighting. This thing, which is, will become very famous, where uh, a couple who live in a cottage outside Manchester took their first airline journey, uh, and they had aboard a little uh, a film, a little cine camera, and uh, they take uh, pictures down the fields as a couple would the first time they've ever been in an airplane, and she takes uh, what she thinks is an airplane coming up uh, from behind them, and then it goes out of uh, vision in about 12 seconds or about. And she goes on taking a few more bits of that of the distant clouds and puts it back. And when they get what's this thing? I mean, it's 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 inexplicable by any uh, unless it's a straight fake. And to fake uh, to fake an eight millimeter film in color wants a lot of equipment. Uh, and who on earth are these this charming couple? What what would they be doing uh, lending themselves to faking these? Things? It is nothing airborne we've ever seen. I mean, it is basically sausage shaped with two dorsal and two ventral fins. And as you look at this film, it turns away on its vertical axis from you and goes, disappears. question is are we looking at you know some type of reflection from the from the glass you know on the plane right or could it be a blimp could it be a balloon you know look go back to the 40s the 50s as far back as you want to go the military they've been using and experimenting with balloons and all types of craft um and i believe that's probably what we're looking at you know uh, i'm just not 100 percent convinced that it's some type of you know visual anomaly you know, uh, created by the curvature in the glass. I mean, people are claiming it's the the, the wing, uh, the tail of the plane, you know, things like that. But again, I'm not 100% convinced. I bring it to you guys. You guys are the ultimate decider, the judge, the jury. You tell me. Now, I want to get into the Cash Landrum incident. I'm actually working on an interview. Uh, you have uh, Betty, Vicky, and Colby. And I'm working on an interview with Colby Landrum. Uh, I'm waiting on him to write me back. But, uh, it, you know, it kind of ties in because I think all of this is related to the military, not necessarily UFOs, but these black budget military projects. I thought it was the end of time because I've always been a cop. The Bible says the world will be destroyed by fire, hell and brimstone. Well, how did I know that the hell and brimstone wasn't? right there with it and as hot as it was if hell is any hotter god forbid i want to live a good life because it was just it was just almost unbearable but the closer we got we could tell that either it was going to be us or it because it kept getting lower and getting hotter that I got up close enough to really make the shape of the object, whatever it is. 
The helicopters were there. The helicopters were there. We was amazed at, you know, what kind of helicopters there were. We were about scared to death. The double rotary kind of helicopters, I never saw one before. Nothing airborne we've ever seen. I mean, it is basically sausage shaped with two dorsal and two ventral fins. And as you look at this film, it turns away on its vertical axis from you and goes, disappears out that way. Well, I mean, you can argue.